everybody, welcome to mini beginner's crash course to Elasticsearch and Kibana. My name is Lisa Jung and I'm a developer advocate at Elastic. So this is a series of short videos for developers who want to get started with Elasticsearch and Kibana. Throughout the series, we'll be exploring different types of Elasticsearch requests to gain insights about our data set. In order to do that, we need to add data to Elasticsearch first. And this is where Kibana comes into play. So think of Kibana as a web interface to the data stored in Elasticsearch. It allows you to explore, visualize, and engage with your data. Now, what a lot of people don't know is that you could also add data to Elasticsearch through the Kibana UI. This feature is called the File Data Visualizer, and this is a great tool to get small amounts of data into Elasticsearch for initial exploration of data. Today, we'll go over how you can add data to Elasticsearch using the File Data Visualizer. Aside from adding data, you could also use this tool to customize your index settings and mappings. You could also transform your data. Now, all of these could be done before adding data to Elasticsearch. I'm not going to go over these features in this episode because I've already created a tutorial on this. So if you're interested in learning more, go to the link shown on the screen. And I've also included the link in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get started. For this episode, I'm going to add a news headlines data set to Elasticsearch. In future episodes, we're going to explore the same data set to learn about Elasticsearch queries. So if you want to follow along, be sure to add this data set to Elasticsearch. To get the data set, go to this link on the screen. So this is a go-to link for all the resources I'll share with you this season. You could also access the link in the description of the video. Now, once you're there, click on part two, then scroll down to the resources section and click on the news headlines data set and have this open the tab. Then you'll run Kibana and pull up the Kibana homepage, which is shown here. Now, if you don't know how to get to the Kibana homepage, we learned how to do that in episodes four and five. So episode four teaches you how to pull up the Kibana homepage if you're running Kibana on your own machine. Episode five shows you how you can do this if you're using Kibana hosted on Elastic Cloud. Now you can access these episodes by going to the playlist of mini beginners crash course to Elasticsearch and Kibana. And the link to the playlist is on the screen and it's also included in the description of the video. Okay, so let's get started. On the screen, you'll see the Kibana homepage. So scroll down to ingest your data section and click on upload a file. Then it'll take you to the file data visualizer page. Now the types of file formats you could upload are delimited text files such as CSV and TSV, new line delimited JSON, and log files with a common format for the timestamp. Now you could upload files up to 100 megabytes with this feature. And all you have to do is to drag and drop the file that you want to explore right here. Now earlier, I gave you a link to download the news headlines data set. To save time, I've already dropped this data set in advance. Now when you do this, Kibana will analyze the first thousand lines of your data and show you this data under file content section. And you'll see that each line is a document which represents a news headline. Now, under the summary, it will tell you that format of your data is NDJSON. It will also show you the time field and time format of your data as well. Now let's scroll down to file stats. So it says our data set has a total of six fields here. Now, if you go to the right and click on field name, it'll show you the list of all the fields that exist in our data set. If you click on field type, it'll tell you that we have three types, text, keyword, and date. Now, the rows below will provide high level statistics about each field. For example, if you look at the row authors, it'll tell you that 100% of the documents 
contain the field called authors. And there are about 182 distinct values or authors in our data set. So looking at the analysis of the data gives you a starting point to ask interesting questions about your data. Now the next step is to import data. So click on import button in the lower left corner here. Now there are two options you could choose from while importing the data. These are simple and advanced. Now if you want to import data as is, you would go with a simple option. So all you have to do is to specify the index name here and click on import. Now I'm going to name my index news underscore headlines. Now mine will tell you that the index name already exists only because I've created this index in advance for our demo. So this error message won't show up on your end and you'll be able to click on import when you enter a unique index name. Now, if you want to customize your index settings, mappings, or transform your data in some way, then you would use the advanced option, but there's a separate tutorial on this and I share the link to the video in the beginning of this episode. So check it out if you're interested. Now, in our case, we want to import data as is. So we'll go with the simple option and click on import. Now to save time, I've already done this in advance. And once it's done adding data to Elasticsearch, it'll show you that the import is complete. And once that is done, you could search and analyze your data using the Kibana Dev Tools. So to get to Kibana Dev Tools, click on the menu option and click on DevTools. And I've already pulled it up here. Now, just to make sure everything worked, we'll send a request to view the documents in our news headlines index. So we'll send the following request, which is get followed by name of the index, which is news headlines, then followed by the search endpoint. So make sure to select and send and you'll see that Elasticsearch pulls up information about documents in our index, meaning that our data has been successfully added to the news headlines index. Now we'll be using this index for the upcoming episodes where we'll explore this data set by sending various Elasticsearch requests. All right, we just got done adding data to Elasticsearch using the file data visualizer. And this content is an excerpt from the beginner's crash course to Elasticsearch part two. So part two is a full length workshop where I talk about the relevance of a search, how to explore your data set, and how to fine tune the precision or recall of your search by writing Elasticsearch queries. So if you prefer the full length workshop format, check out the link shown on the screen. And the link is also included in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of mini beginners crash course to Elasticsearch and Kibana.